Ako nga pala si Leonard Manipon, 17 years old, at ako ay isang mag-aaral ng STEM 12. At ang favorite subject ko ay science. Para sa akin, mas gusto ko ma-assignment. Dahil dito nahasa ang aking talino upang ako'y maapangat sa aking buhay. Tsaka pag wala ng assignment, paano na lamang aangat ang mga magagawa ng Pilipinas? Magsimula sa bilang estudyante, aangat bilang angat sa kolehiyo at ito ang susi sa ating magandang buhay at para na rin sa ating edukasyon. I am Rubian Parambu, teacher of upper school and senior high school. I'm handling TLA subjects and understanding culture and society and uh, My insight about this policy is it's really good because we can now know uh, that the students already enjoy their life at their home and not only in the classroom that they are enjoying but also they have time to spend with their family and have a peaceful life. Process of no homework policy group. Assigning homework to children, particularly younger school going children, can lead to unhealthy lifestyle. In addition, homework might hinder their supposed to be quality time with their family and friends. Hence, that it supports no homework policy bid for the students to find balance between their academic development, personal growth, and spend time with their families. It aims to enable learners to have more quality time with their parents, family, and friends by limiting the homework to a reasonable quantity in school days and eliminating the same during weekend. Moreover, no homework policy will have applied to primary and secondary learners of both public and private school. But under the proposed measure, teachers may only assign homework to students on weekends provided that it be minimal and will not require more than four hours to be completed. The overview of issue on the other country the top country which having less homework is Finland, with only 2.8 hours of homework a week. Similarly to Finland, South Korea only has around 2.9 hours of homework a week. Furthermore, schools in Japan only have hand out around 3.8 hours of homework a week. Thus, these countries prove that less homework doesn't mean less knowledge. Instead, they focus in important factors that make them succeed. The advantages and disadvantages of no homework policy. The said bill could be an advantages and disadvantages on the students, since assignment is a practice in which the students learn how to independent to think on their own, to be imaginative, and to understand and interpret complex ideas beyond on what has been taught. In addition, assignment is also the teacher's tool to make their students read in advance their new topics, which benefits both parties. In addition, assignment is also the teacher's tool to make their students read in advance their new topics which benefit both parties. When the students learn from doing the given assignments, then the teachers would be at ease in discussing difficult topics and the teachers would also know the topic to focus on which the students having a difficulty. Moreover, assignment is an important part of being successful inside and outside of the classroom but too much of it can actually have the opposite effect. Students who spend too much time on assignments are not always able to meet their needs, like being physically and socially active. Ultimately, the amount of assignment a student has an impact a lot more than his or her grades. Therefore, assignment or homework is 
significant in learning as it assess students' understanding after class and it also improves students' attention. And also, in any means, homework has a function and that is to achieve learning. However, like they say, excess are always harmful. Also true in this matter, too much assignment is harmful. It could affect the health and social life of the students. Thus, it is not necessarily to abolish assignment or homework. What we need is a limitation.